everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here thanks for joining and don't forget to hit subscribe and tap that bell today we're painting a cityscape this is requested by one of my patrons i'm so excited to show you guys step by step how to paint this so let's begin working on a 12 by 16 primed canvas we're going to begin with a large blending brush of your choice doesn't matter what kind just something large enough to create the background with here's a list of all the colors we're going to be using today and i'll have them below in the description box as well we're going to begin by getting our brush a little bit wet and make sure that you wipe off all those drips first and then we're going to just pull in and load our brush really well with that cobalt blue and start spreading it and blending across the top of the canvas for the sky and then we're just going to work that paint out of our brush so it gets lighter and lighter and then work on the bottom this is going to be the water of course so we're just going to pull the same way back and forth side to side nice long sweeping strokes work the paint out and then we'll begin to add a little bit of white without washing our brush off let's go right into that titanium white and we'll line our brush up on part of that blue and start pulling and blending into it to create a softer tone we want to work that blue out and make it get faded and lighter so that we can start bringing in our luminous yellow that we're going to add We'll do the same thing on the bottom. Now with a clean brush, I'm gonna take more white and go over the bottom part. So now it just fades off right into the white canvas. You can't really see where it ends. And that's the kind of idea that we wanna create with this background. Just kind of ombre and then going right into that luminous yellow and then the neon orange. So with a clean brush again, I'm taking my warm luminous neon yellow. And if you don't have this color, don't worry guys, you can use any light orange or yellow that you want. And we're gonna blend it over right where we left off with that white and blue. Blending up softly into part of the blue. This will create another tone. And then we wanna do the same thing on the bottom. We're not going to add as much on the bottom though, the water is going to be darker. Now with a clean brush, I'm going to pull into this beautiful neon orange, luminous yellow, and a bit of white. These colors are so vibrant and just perfect for sunsets. I'm going to pull over, partially over that neon yellow that we added, and work our way across the canvas, nice long strokes back and forth. Now let's take a little bit of our blue yellow, orange, and white. Now what this color is gonna make is gonna be like a really soft violety purple color, kind of a smoky purple color that's gonna be really nice for some little shadows across the sky. And just little wiggles, pulling and flicking. Nothing too detailed, guys. Just be really loose with your brush. And we're gonna go ahead and take some more of that blue now without washing our brush off with both sides. And let's go very lightly just pull and drag so see how all those lines are there that creates all of those little ripples and highlights in the water let's do this again with luminous yellow and some white again leaving those spaces lightly pull and drag see how easy that is now let's take our hair dryer and dry this off before we begin our next layer Okay, so it's all dry, and right here where I just pulled my finger across is where we want to add another layer of this neon orange. So this is going to get more vibrant in this area, and just going to pull and sweep back and forth. It's okay if you miss a few spaces. Sunsets aren't always even, right? It's usually like a streaky looking sky when you have a sunset, so it's totally okay. Don't worry about over blending and trying to make everything um, super soft and blended in this. Now I'm going to take that blue mixture again with the yellow and the orange and just add a little bit more shadow to these clouds here. I'm using a little flat brush. You can use a filbert brush, any brush really that you want. I like the flat end to these brushes. It just helps me create that sweepy look. And I'm also going to be using this brush for the buildings in this cityscape as well. Now I'm grabbing a little bit more blue. And you can see how pretty that color is when it's combined over top of the neon orange. Um, 
this is creating a really pretty purple color and it's probably surprising right you guys never thought you could make a pretty violety color like this with blue and orange but it just depends on what um, orange you're using and what blue you're using so you if you're using cool oranges and blues then you can create a purple color with them okay so right into my black I'm using Mars black today but honestly it doesn't matter any black will work for this guys and I'm just gonna start the horizon line and I'm gonna make it a little bit thick and then just kind of smooth across here pulling back and forth I'm leaving a little tiny space there just for in between some of the buildings that are going to be in that area and then I'm going to sweep out the rest of my black paint for some more shadows and ripples in the water and then I'm going to soften these out blend them out just a little bit make them look a little bit softer and then I'm just going to line my brush up and press pull and flick straight down these are going to be the shadows and reflections in the water from the buildings above really really easy to do this this will instantly give you that look of water so you can do little flicks straight down like that and then you can also pull back and forth after to give it the illusion of the ripples in the water and give you a little bit of a movement now i'm loading my brush up mainly keeping that black on the tip of my brush to work with and the flat brush, like I said earlier, is perfect for creating buildings because you get that nice flat um, edge to the tops of your buildings, the sides, and this is the perfect width too. Now you can have, I actually recommend having a few of the same brushes in different sizes. So if you have one bigger than this, uh, smaller than this, that would be great. Then you can create different sizes for your buildings. Or you can just use this one for, um, I think I'm going to use this one for all of the buildings actually because I can turn it sideways to make skinnier ones and then I can just make thicker ones um, by pushing a little bit harder and just kind of putting another brush stroke right up against um, the building already there and they're going to be kind of all blended anyways together on the bottom. Now you can see some of the areas here. To make it look like there's windows and some parts are a bit shiny and there's light there, I'm not making my my buildings solid black. I'm going to leave a few spaces just by really lightly dragging my brush. If I don't push hard, then I'm the brush is kind of just leaving those spaces um, showing underneath with the, the sunset colors. And that's all we need for the lights and the windows and um, the shine that may be coming off of some of these buildings. Then I'm going to create some little lines, just a little grid for all of those windows. It's really, really easy. This is one of those paintings that anybody can do. It doesn't matter what. If you're just watching this and painting for the first time, you guys can do this. Um, I haven't painted a lot of cityscapes. I think this actually might be my first one in silhouette. And to be honest, I was a little bit intimidated because I thought, how am I going to do all these little windows? This might be a little bit difficult. Um, but as I, as soon as I started, actually, I thought, oh, wow, this is going to be way easier than um, I anticipated. So I was super excited to um, share this one with you guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I can't wait to see your versions on my Facebook group. I've got a, a private Facebook group. I'll leave a link below. You just have to request to join. And that's a place for you guys to um, upload your versions from my tutorials. And it's uh, quite a fun group. There's a lot of people on there so far and it's really, really fun to see all of your versions of my paintings. So here I'm just pulling a skinny line for the top of the building and just filling in another uh, building here, long skinny rectangle. So just think, break it down into squares, rectangles. Um, you can um, just kind of play around, use your imagination. You don't have to paint an actual city that exists. You can make up your own, so you can make little triangles for the tops. When it's in silhouette, you can get away with um, more mistakes. I find that it just, everything looks better in silhouette, especially when you have a really pretty, um, colorful sunset sky. And yeah, I think you guys are really going to find this one easy, and I'm excited to see what yours looks like. So I'm just going to keep going along all across the canvas doing different sizes of buildings here just little squares pulls and you can um, change it up by adding a little bit of blue to your black if you want as well you don't have to have all of your buildings solid black 
you can still make it look like silhouette by um, tinting your black you could have um, like a, a purple with your black you could have you can use like a dark burgundy um, so just uh, use your imagination guys and tint your black with other colors if you want it can be really striking actually um, I just kind of felt like keeping it simple today and doing this in black and I don't use a lot of black in my paintings but uh, for something like this it can be really satisfying the process is fun and so I'm just going to even this up a little bit, adding a little bit more on the top. And because it's a painting, guys, it's not a photograph, please don't worry. Don't fuss too much about perfectly straight buildings. It's art, and it's it's about creating a feeling, invoking emotion, and color, light, and shadow. If you have a building that's a little bit crooked, it doesn't matter. It almost just adds more character to your painting. And that is like... The best advice that I can give you guys because I know all of my students are always stressed out about um, trying to even out their buildings and then what ends up happening is you keep adding and adding to try and and uh, fix the the leaning building or crooked part that you have and you end up just creating a bigger building and it gets bigger and bigger and it ends up being a big blob and then you're super upset about it so trust me just kind of leave it as is and wait till the end look at it if it's still or sometimes just wait till the next day and look at it after and, and decide if it's still really a big deal because sometimes we just kind of get like focus too much on one little thing and it takes away from the process and the joy of painting so just try and stay in that creative mode try to be happy and enjoy the process it really will come through in your paintings as well so I'm just adding more to the reflections and the shadows in the water. You can see I'm sliding my brush, making little squiggles and wiggles. And sometimes I'm just pulling and flicking straight down. This is a very playful and fun way to just create those little reflections in the water. Um, it's all about how much movement you want in your water as well. So the squiggles, if you kind of make it look like uh, it's more of a, a wiggle like that, it's going to make it the water look a little bit um, more um, like, what am I trying to say? Like there's more movement in the water. Um, and if you just pull straight down and flick, it'll make the water look really, really calm and almost like a, a mirrored effect. So now I'm just going to go right into my blue. I've still got some black on my brush and I'm going to just add a little bit of blue here and there. And I'm also going to do this on some of the buildings. I just wanted to see what some would look like with a little bit of blue mixed with a black. Now another option for your buildings is dark gray. You could tint your black with a little bit of white and make some of the edges. So yeah, right here I'm just going to take straight blue and have like a cool, really, really cool shadow. You know, some of the buildings and skyscrapers in the cities have that those mirrors on the on them on the outside and and um, they look really really neat so I thought I would try that see how that looked now with a clean flat brush white a little bit of luminous yellow warm and just a little line there and then I'm just gonna see how I line my brush up and I just tap tap and then pull for the highlights in the windows there's so many windows on these buildings right all those little offices or apartments they look like a little grid. So just think like that. That's all you're creating. Little lines and little grids. Crisscrosses. And then sometimes I'm just going to use the corner of my brush. You could use a liner brush as well. Um, I like to use the, the flat brush. Um, just the corner of it is, see right there, I'm just using one, one side of it. So it can act like a little liner brush if you just turn it like that. It's really, really easy to, so just line your or load your brush up with whatever color you want to use for your windows. Um, here I'm using my white and my luminous yellow again. And I'll be switching around um, to my neon orange as well and doing some of the colors for the windows that, so right here, yeah, just a little bit of that orange. And even if you have a little bit of blue in your brush, it's okay. All these colors are gonna work really, really well together to create that light effect in this city.
All right, so I'm gonna do this a little bit more and then I'm gonna show you um, how you can make the windows and more lights using a little liner brush. I'm gonna bring the lights right down low, right above the water, and then add some reflections the same way, just tapping and then pulling and flicking. I've got a little bit of black here on the end of my brush to do a few little taps and lines. We're in between some of these windows. And I'm going to wash my brush out and switch over to this little liner brush. So just a little scoop to work with on the tip of my brush using my luminous yellow and white. And I'm going to dot, dot, dot leaving little spaces of course in between just to create all these little windows and lights down here so this is creating different layers and heights right we have the skyscrapers back there uh, the big city back there and then maybe um, here above the water we've got lights from a harbor and little restaurants or cafes maybe some little houses are along here who knows it's just nice to create those different layers so we've and it's nice to have the lights right above the water so you get that pretty reflection. So you can use your liner brush a few different ways, right? You can just tap and dot for those little lights and you can also um, pull and sweep with your brush maybe to create a, a more of a reflection on some of the sides. So right here I'm going to do this, turning it onto the side and barely touching the canvas, just lightly pulling and dragging. Same thing in the water. So I'm just going to continue to add these lights here, guys, using any of the colors that I've got on my palette. I'm not adding anything different. And you really can't go wrong with um, how many lights and windows you want to add. Um, you can also add more colors. It would be really pretty to add some turquoise. Um, I just want to even this out a little bit more and add a little bit of a light gray or bluey gray highlight here and then just pull down for a little bit of a highlight slight highlight on the side of some of these buildings yeah so the more lights you add uh, the more exciting it's gonna look and like I said before be um, brave be playful with your colors so you could do this painting uh, in like three different styles as well um, so once you do it just with the black silhouette you guys will see how easy it is and you're gonna probably want to paint this again and again I know I want to and the next time I do it I want to use more colors I want to use like I said the turquoise I want to pull in some reds some purples all those fun uh, colors that I like to add to my paintings when I do like my fantasy paintings um, so yeah, I'll be doing another cityscape for sure. So stay tuned for that and make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and you tap that bell. So by tapping the bell, um, you'll get notified when I add a new video or post a new video. So, so to make sure you don't miss out on that, you need to make sure that you have, uh, you've tapped that bell. So just continuing along here, I'm having so much fun with this, adding more lights I'm switching back to my little flat brush now to create a few different looking lights and windows here and reflections in the water just light little taps um, there's one more thing that I want to do in this in between the buildings um, for the background and the sky there I'm gonna be adding another layer of my neon orange I want to make it look uh, a little bit more intense and saturated back there so you'll see me do that in just a moment I'm just gonna take a little scoop on my brush right here and just go right in between and I'm not gonna bring it all the way up I want to have it right low down in the buildings and then just pull and flick up so it kind of blends into the background a little bit but see what a difference that makes so you could also do this with a little bit of pink pink would have been really pretty too 
um, layered over with that yellow, you'll, you'll get like a beautiful coral, pinky coral color. And you could also do it with um, red. And if you guys um, are wondering what neon paints I'm using, they're whole bean. Whole bean and I will leave, uh, try to remember to leave a link below. Um, they're whole bean luminous neon heavy bodied acrylics. You can find them on Amazon and at fine art stores. Um, I'm a bit disappointed Michaels doesn't have them. I really hope that they get them soon. They can be, they're really, really popular. Um, so I'm surprised that they don't have them there yet, but they're a wonderful brand of paint to use and they last. I know there's a lot of um, talk about uh, neon paints or luminous paints fading over time. Um, these ones really have lasted. I've been using them for years. So I've got paintings that I, did maybe eight years ago with them and they're still bright so they're a really really great paint to use and I highly recommend them a little goes a long way with them and they have the most gorgeous colors so I'm just finishing up this painting by coming in with a little bit more black now and I'm gonna just pull in and yeah just cover up a little bit more add a little bit more See how easy it is to just quickly change and add little buildings wherever you want. So as I add the final details to this painting, I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today. Thank you to my patrons. Thanks for requesting this. It's a lot of fun and I can't wait to hear back from you guys with more requests. If you'd like to request something today, then you can join Patreon for as little as $5 a month and take advantage of all the other perks that I have over there. So I'll see you next time, everybody. Happy painting. Have a wonderful day. Bye.